And we are back. It's your man, Odell for Odell's Roundtable. Stay here with G. Cool. Great conversation. I mean, we were talking about just doing better, eating better. But uh, you touched on how, like, uh, you know, you, you mentally got to just be prepared for some certain things. Yes. Right? Yes. And yes. so a lot of times uh, I found that even with myself, right? Like if I, like I was laughing because it's not like even on my IG posts, I'll, I'll be posting and um, saying I'm about to go to the gym, right? right? And I'll be in my car. What people don't realize sometimes when I, when I do those on my uh, Instagram stories that I still might sit in that car for like another 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> before I walk in the gym. Like it's not so much, uh, sometimes people get it twisted, right? I'm not one of those people that really posts a lot of like all my gym posts. I'm not knocking people who do, right? right? But I'm not doing it like, yeah, yeah, gym life, I'm about to get up and go work out. But I literally sometimes I've been sitting in my, I'll sit in my car and I'm like, okay, I just wait about, yeah, because I'm just like not motivated, but I know that, I say all that to say that when I do go in the gym and work out, I always feel better about it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the yeah. key is me just walking through that door because there's some times where I'm like, man, if I didn't walk through that door the, the rest of the day. People don't understand that. When you go to the gym, that's the biggest networking experience you can be a part of, mm. going to the gym. Because doctors exercise, right. scientists exercise, yeah. uh, hip-hop producers exercise. Yeah, that's true. Everybody you name is in, the, every, in, in, the, in different fields are in the gym. Right. Versus you trying to go get dressed, you know, <laughs> and oh, so-and-so is going to be here, and I'm going to catch up with them. And yeah. Now you have put, on all, put all this energy in, and it may not work out the way you want it at all. No, nothing went your way. You didn't mm. get the card to anybody you wanted. That's true. You didn't even get in at the time you needed to get in. But at the gym, I'm having a same level conversation yeah. about being better and living longer. Man, that is so true. Cause, and that's it. Uh, you know, I've, I've met some different basketball players. I've met, like you said, doctors, different lawyers. And what's funny is because, you know, the playing field is you just there lifting eight weights. Right. We're in the same out. room. Right. So, I, I mean, I, I remember one time just – you know, I talk about uh, Stephen Jackson. I see he works at the gym. But it was the same thing. He was just moving from a machine. I'm like, wait a minute. This is NBA basketball player. Right. But like you said, it's, it's the same even playing field. Things. People put the hype on unnecessary stuff. Put your pants <laughs> on one leg at a time. Yeah. I never see people just jump in the draws. I never see them <laughs> draws two feet into some draws. I've never seen that. I've never seen it. You right, know right, I mean? right, right. So the, the, the idea is stop putting people on pedestals unnecessarily. You're actually building them up. Right. And they probably don't even want to get picked up. Well, well speaking of that, because like social media, right? And I love social media. It's a great tool. Uh, allows you to network, yeah. like you said. It yeah. allows you to reach people. But also, too, what it's done um, in a lot of fields is it made everybody a semi-professional. Right. right. And health is no different. I mean, the health and wellness space, everybody, I mean, any, any chick that looks halfway cute yeah. and with a flat stomach, she, she's a fitness person. Right, uh, right. Any dude who got half a bicep, he, he's a uh, semi-personal trainer. Or something. And they got the best video. Like, <laughs> nobody's ever in the gym with you. Nobody's ever on the field. Like, where are you working out at? You just on stage, you got perfect lighting all the time. And I right, just right. Like, look, right. it's not real. Yeah. And the people that come to me all the time, I get so much pressure mm. to video this and do this and do that. No. Because what happens is I do reach more people. Right. But I also reach the wrong people. Mm. I would rather the old school word of mouth. And word of mouth helps because what they do is they share what I have going on. And people mm. act like they're like. That's true. Is, is, like it's, is really the doing to, something. it's the key to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do you. I'm going to like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I see something I like, I like it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that's just it. So I don't really use that. And I, if, if I did, if I actually took the social media route, I think it would take away from what I do because I, I actually specialize in changing lives, mm -hmm. building communities. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I don't train people for three years, stuff yeah. like that. By the yeah. time I get to a certain point, I say it's time to move on. They hate me for every time. Yeah. You, you're dumping me, you're getting rid of me. You're attached to me now. Right, it's right. time for you to evolve. Yeah, you, you do you're focused on the actual work. Now, it's not it's just about you as a personality. Right. It's about right. you, you don't need to pay me for a mm. service anymore. Gotcha. It's, not, it's no more for that. Uh oh. That's what I'm saying. They like, right, right. So you don't want my money anymore. No, I don't want your money anymore. Mm. I want your peace. I want your happiness. Yeah. I want you to move forward in life with what you've learned with me. Wow. Now you're better. Okay. Now you can pass on what you know, even if you're not going to train. Right. Even, you're just better at life because now you have what nobody can give you, you. Yeah. Well, talk about that too, because I think sometimes people get so caught up with just the gym. 
right. but just so caught up with just the working out. Just uh, it's also a path or road to do better because even if you're a trainer, even if you're somebody who works out or owns a gym or runs a gym, like you still have to motivate yourself. You yeah. still have to get in there and, and work out. You still have to fight those battles. You still have to try to stay positive. It's not. It's, you, there's no uh, reaching to the end where it's. it's Automatic. So this is what I do. I do what people won't do, even before I became a trainer. If my head is not clear, mm. I cannot provide a service. Okay. So if I got a headache and it's beating me up so bad that I can't uplift the people who come in to see me to uplift them, I don't need to go to work. Be upset for 12, 13 hours. I'll see you next <laughs> time. And I'll see you next time. You know, right, right. Thing. But when I see you next time, I'm doubled up. Mm. Okay. That way, even when I worked in the schools, especially when I worked with special need kids, yeah, I can't go to work pissed off at something at home nah, to the nah. point where it's still on me when I wake up in the morning and the kids get to school and I'm the first thing they see. I'm the joy for them. You understand what I'm saying? They, they don't know that the world thinks of them as less. Right. They just are. Mm. They just are. Yeah. They, you know, they, they don't know that um, I should be standing this way. <clears throat> My face... Should look a certain way right, when right. I'm looking at you. I should they're have just, They're just living. They're just right. being. I'm alive. They can smell things. You know, their senses are so much higher than ours. Right. They right. can tell you the time when never looking at a clock. That's when you know that was that me be, going through that and, and having the the, uh, the the opportunity to work with something like that and see people ask somebody the time. They can tell you the time. Give them crazy numbers, 9.623.1 million times <laughs> right, eight, right, right. and they give you the exact number. Mm. Mm. You know, they're using parts of the brain we'd never use, but we call them special needs. Exactly. All right. You know what I mean? I want to touch on that, too, because we talked about before the break, the animated motivator, because right. I was talking about how, like, uh, you know, you'll come in there, you have capes on and goggles and just the energy, like, automatically, there's no way, even if somebody was coming to work out and train with you, as right. soon as you walk out there, I mean, cape flapping and stuff, and you out there, like, like how can you not... Uh, I look him straight in the face like nothing's wrong. <laughs> I noticed that, too. Look like, him right in the face. You look at them like, what's wrong with you? I feel good. This is what I chose to wear. <laughs> this is my outfit today. Yeah. You I mean, like, a woman to put on a, a diamond pants. <laughs> <laughs> you know, diamond pants and be similar legs crossed. You see all that friction; it's, it's sparking. And, but but you fly though. You know, you right, paid right, two thousand right. dollars for some right, pants right, and some right, shoes. Right, right. But you talking about me with the cape? <laughs> so, you know that but, kind of thing. But I, I love that though because I, I say that because uh, the energy is automatic and energy is is so real. It's something that is needed. And I'll see people, and I'm still amazed at times when I see low energy mm -hmm. or no personality having. Trainers, and I'm not knocking saying I'm not saying everybody has to be a certain kind of way. Right, right. But when you see somebody and they're going through the motions and they're holding the tablet and they're just writing stuff down, and I'm seeing myself like looking at the client, like, you gonna put up with this? But some people just want X's and O's. Mm -hmm. You have clientele where they just want, give me this, give me that. Da, 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 da. They confirm the confirmation. You have a few people like that. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Like, hey, yeah. I see you at nine. So what you're telling me is at nine o'clock you're gonna be at the front door at nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. You have people like that. Yeah, that's you true. Know, that, 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 four it, sets of ten, and we're done. Well, yeah. we're here, then we're going to move on. So wait. <laughs> Let me make sure I got it clear. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, you know, yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, some people true. can train those type of people. I'd rather not train that type of person all the time because that type got of person you. pulls away. I, I do more group training. As a matter of fact, I'm over the atmosphere at the gymnasium at the law. I make sure that when you come in, Mm. You say hello, like that could be, I don't know, Shaq could be over there. Yeah, yeah. But if they're training with Leo and you train with me, most gyms you never know each other. Right, in right. In my gym, you're not going to walk past each other in the same space all day and not speak. Gotcha. You're going to say hello. You're creating a move. You want a yeah. move that it's going to yeah. permeate throughout the whole. So you say, hey, they work out of my gym. What's up, man? You know, what's, what's going right, on? Right, so now right. if you have a business mm. and you, you're getting your business off the ground, and you might say, man, I'm just trying to get people in here. And let's say you got, I don't know, let's say you catering, you got cupcakes. Right, right. Hey, man, I, I work over here at the nursery. We got birthdays every day. Yeah. Boom. Now you got, you, now your business is booming. Now you're the man for the birthday cakes. Yeah, yeah. Every day you got business. Yeah. And that goes to the next elementary school because they got brothers and sisters, which goes to middle school, which goes to weddings. Right, right. And now your small business 
is now just business. Well, it's funny, too, you said it, because I always speak about this, and Jay Black and I talk about this. It's like so many people, they want to isolate themselves, but they want to be part of a group. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? Like even, you know, shout out to Steve, he's here. I mean, we shout out other shows, shout out to the, the, the uh, Live Hip Hop Daily. Like it's so amazing sometimes people, the main people who want to isolate themselves from part of a group get mad when you don't shout them out or something. Right, they do. Right, and so like you said, that's great that you create an environment where people are speaking, people are being courteous, people are just networking because just it's just common sense. Right, but it's not. <laughs> it's not. I make, I, I make it very clear that in the event you hear somebody talking bad about me, like, I don't like that joker, man. I, you know, he just, <laughs> everybody around him will be like, what the hell is wrong with this guy? Right, right. So you have a sense of hate because I'm not taking. Mm. I'm not taking. As a matter of fact, I help more than anything. Right. It'd right. be sometimes I would train two months, three months. Don't worry about it. Somebody lost their job. Yeah. Somebody started to go to school. They can't afford it anymore. So they have to either choose to go to school or exercise. Come on, do both. Mm. It's mm. Cut down your five days, do three days, and um, I got people shadowing me. Help me uplift them, and we do it like that. Or, gotcha. you know, come over here. I got a chef that need help. Go help them, help them in the kitchen two days a week. Right. I love that on so many levels, but also, too, you know, I don't want to um, jump over the fact that we were talking about working with, you said, special right. needs people. Right. Uh, because if you follow his page and check him out, this, that, uh, what's, what's funny is even with your page, right, like sometimes... Like, like the last week I was having, uh -huh. this past week, I'll sit there and I'd be like, you know what? I don't need to go to the gym today, Odell. You know, my leg not feeling that good. Or this, this, and that. And I'll make the mistake of scrolling through Instagram, right? <laughs> and then I get to G. Cool's page, and he's sitting there working out with somebody, can't you know, walk. can't walk or something. And this man in the gym all hype, and I'm like, oh, shh. You got to get up. Let me get my gym. You I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so humbling. You got to get up. You know, to see that, because I'm saying these people, they're working out with you. I mean, and they're hype. Yeah. And you have that same kind of energy that you're delivering to the people. Talk, talk about this, those experiences working with those people and what it's shown you. Actually, it's one of the most move. It's, it's helped me become more of a, a better man. Mm. It, um, the first time I, I, I worked with a, a special needs kid as far as fitness, I didn't really know what I was doing for, what that, it for that person. Yeah. You know, not only what I was doing for that person, what I was doing for the people who watched me mm. get dive into what I was doing. Gotcha. Because my training is not, an ex, I'm not an ex old guy, guy. Right, right, right. I have a basis of what I'm going to do, but I never bring it in. That's why I can't watch television because gotcha. I'll forget what I have. Right, right, right. So with my um, special needs, cerebral palsy and uh, some suffer from cancer and uh, heavy level diabetes heavy yeah. and uh, some of gout and gangrene, mm. different things like this where they can't move or have the mobility that they need to do certain movements. So with the, I have one, one guy, he's 16, and uh, Nigel is, is <laughs> I mean, his story is amazing. Right, right, right. He, uh, he's one of three triplets. He passed away, and two passed away, and even he passed away. His mm. parents had him at home, and it's like God, and the mom tells me the story. And when she told me this story, it was early on, she said, if, if he's not for us, then take him home. Mm. They laid him down. He had passed away. They was going to take him to the hospital. It's been right, right. Their child. Yeah. And uh, when they got up to go in the morning to take him, he was alive. Oh, wow. His mother changed her life from then on. Wow. She dedicated it to him from then on. So when she told me that story, and then I got to train him, then yeah. I realized this guy got personality. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You know, now he walked past the ladies. Well, he's, in, he's in a walker, so he's really right. moving to and he's yeah. like, hey, queen, what's up, queen? Hey, queen. <laughs> you know, it's like, what? Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he, then he tried to tell me, you know what I need to work on? I got to get my <laughs> chest. And I'll be like, what? So, That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I, so my emotions are all over the place watching this guy do this. Right, and I start, right. And sometimes I, I, I never told his mom or him, he, he'll do something, but he don't even realize that like, he may pull, now he's standing up. Mm. He can't stand alone. Yeah, yeah. Before he yeah. got to me, he's standing up, pulling the rope. Wow. His mama look at me, I look at her, and I, you know, I let him finish the seven. I'll be right back. I'm running to the restroom. Yeah, I got yeah, to go in there. That's him, I'm yeah. cracking. I'm, <laughs> woof, I'm cracking. Man, you know. Yeah. No. Nah, so real. to see something like that, now when he comes, I'm looking forward to it. Mm. You know, he's now he has gone. He's gone through so many trainers because a lot of times with training, we give up our craft, thinking that we need to be softer. To help mm. them. Well, really, they need the same treatment or right. more. Right. You, know? right. You, you actually think you're adjusting to it to think you're making it 
easier for them mm -mm. when it's not. Yeah, this guy bench presses. I got him on a Smith machine squat. You're not playing around. You said curls. <laughs> he be exhausted. Like, I'm exhausted. <laughs> His mama like, keep going. Let's go. She bring a towel. His water. Wow. I have to watch her with the water. All right, that's enough water. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. Let, his, let him sweat. Let him run in his eyes a little bit. Yeah. He been eating bad anyway. So, you know, you eat bad. <laughs> your, your body has salt. <laughs> right, you know, right, 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 right. Come on. Go sit down. Get out. Yeah. You know, so now he's been coming to my five months. Um, he's gotten so much stronger. He's yeah. gone through some great trainers. He's been with them. And uh, he landed over at the law and, and we just stuck. Wow. And I ended up getting another guy, 27, master's degree. Uh, works at the College Hall of Fame here in Atlanta. Okay. Uh, he normally walks with a walker, but when he comes to the gym, he's walking. Mm. You know, and I make him use. He can do handstands. He's strong. Right. His name is uh, Buster Strongman on Instagram. Okay, okay. Got a clothing line now. <laughs> you know, like this guy, <laughs> amazing. You know, just amazing people. Yeah. That I get to work with, and people call them special needs. See, what, what I'm getting from all this is, is, is all amazing. Is that. You know, for one, you know, I should be ashamed of myself for last week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for, first off, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I was completely slacking. This brother over here, you know, standing up. Pitch, okay, so I was slacking. Yeah. But that's good. I, I needed that. You know, I, I tell all people all the time, it's not just for my guests and everything. Yeah. I need it for me. Yeah. Uh, but then also, too, is just uh, it's a humbling thing. And it's, it's, it's when you make a decision to do something. Because that's the problem. But sometimes, like you said, if you make no sense to go to the gym, you don't have no clarity what you're going to do. And even with these people who call special needs or whatever, when they're getting up to come to you, they, they have the mindset that they're going to work out, they're going right. to be better. And it's still amazing that people who are fully capable in one sense and all these things going on, they'll come to you with their mind not fully on this one even work out. Yeah, I, mean, I just spent that money. <laughs> yeah, I just spent that money. You know, that's how they handle Ah, oh, man, I ain't worried about that money. And I be thinking to myself, look, don't, I, I tell people at, at the conversation, don't give me your money and then don't show up and then call me your trainer. Oh, right, right. Because they, they didn't want to be able to say, well, I paid my money, so, yeah. you know, I, right. no, I'm not I, I can tag this up. Uh, I'm going to tag the gym. I'm going to tag. Oh, it's all cute the first week. <laughs> the first two weeks, everybody, oh, I love it. You know, I love it, yeah, but I yeah. Push, I have people that can't get up, literally right. can't stand up. You got to help them get up. Mm. And I tell them, let me tell you something. You're the only person in here working on your goal. Okay, say, so, say, that, say that one more time. You're the that's only person in here working on your goals. That's, that's a good point. That's yours. That's the, a good your point. Your goals are your goals. You're not, your goal is not that girl over there with that small waist or that guy over there with that perfect chest. Right, right. They, you don't know what they got going on. They might have bought it. <laughs> and if they did, who cares? <laughs> right, right. You they need got to work maintenance. On, you need to work on your goals. Yeah, that's Man. about you. That and is, I isolate them like that and I tell them. I said, quit being sorry. What you mean being sorry? God, I do this. I do this. What I'm saying is you're being sorry for yourself. Uh -huh. You're making excuses why you can't be great too. Yeah, yeah. It, listen, it, it can happen so easily. I, even with myself, I consider myself someone pretty strong, yeah. but it'll happen, man. You, you come in there, you be all ready and all G'd up, and then you walk over to the bench, and you, know, you just put your little bit of weight on there, which makes you feel good. Yeah. And then this guy next to you, they'll you know, put like four plates on there, <laughs> <laughs> and you start, once again, you, you forget about your goal, right? You just say, man, he's... He How put, did he get there? He put another plate on there? But he started with one. That's true. That's true. He started true. with one. He just kept going. As he's kept. You stopped. You started looking. Mm, that's a great percent. See, see, you see. Pay attention to him. You got one. He got four. How do I get four? <laughs> How well, do I get How do I get four pick plates? Pick your one up. Pick my one up. And, 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 and go and, from there. Build up till you get to two. Build up till you get to three. Wow. wow. That's it. Just keep like people. How do you run that far? They kept running. <laughs> They kept running. That is so true. I've been, and that's the theme I've been seeing all week because, once again, it's like uh, you, you keep wanting to get to this other level, right? Mm -hmm. And you know that to get to this other level, it's going to take you some other things you have to go through. Yeah. And then, but it's, it's so tempting to stop. Right. But that, I use this example. Go ahead. I use this real life example because it's stuff I did too. When I first took my first drink of alcohol, okay. I couldn't drink. <laughs> so that first time, I'm super inebriated. Okay. Bam. What was that I drank? I'm lightweight. That was, woo! <laughs> now, you know, I'm older. Yeah. I know my limits. I know where I can go. I've gotten to the point where I'm just pick me up. I'm laying in my own, you know, <laughs> Earl or whatever. So right, I know right. my limits. Right, So right. I've been there, done that kind of thing. I can tell when I haven't drank in a while. Right, It'll be right. one shot. Oh, it's over. I'm done yeah. for the night. Where it used to be nice to take 10 shots. Oh, I did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. same with fitness. Mm. It's, it's an addiction. Yeah. It's an addiction to your health. Some people are, 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 you know, they get delusional. 
And you hear people say, man, I, I got to work on this right here. I got to work on that. <laughs> what? Yeah, I wanna, that? yeah, I want to work on this exact part. Right. I'll, I'll see, I'll see you. Now, somebody on the there. outside looking in and be like, you're doing too much. <laughs> Emma? That's right. how I got to them four plates. Ah, there you go. You get oh, what I'm okay, saying? Okay, okay. I never stopped. Mm. The, gym is, the gym is open every day. It's... Now the gym's open on the holidays. You know, the gym mm. is open. No matter what day it is, hey, you're going to be over there, right? Hey, you're going to do this. You're going to do that. <laughs> So uh, I created a new class. Okay. It's called uh, Barbarian Burn, just based on what you said. And it's, the gym closed at 9. Right. My class is at 9. <laughs> right. right, right. So the class is designed for no, not beginners. And when I say beginners, people are like, oh, man, what do you got? Going? And right, right. mentally, mm. your mind, you can't be a beginner and come in here. So if your mind says, man, they got six plates over there. <laughs> I'm over here with two. Right. I can't work out with them. No, what you're going to have to do is when they got six on there, take four off, and now you work with two. Okay. But you're lazy because now you feel like people are watching you take the weight off. When in actuality, they're going to help you. Right. It's a community of barbarians. It's called Barbarian Burn. Right. And I tell people when you walk in, I'll let you just check the post. There's a lot of vulgar language in there because it's after hours. I got a whole, uh, right, 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 right. A whole spiel right, right, right. going on right now. And, uh, and it's just really to motivate. Yeah. It's another wave of my animation yeah. where I, uh, I take it. And it's an addi- I'm telling you, if you can get addicted to enjoying yourself. That's true. Just That's enjoying true. yourself. Just I like feeling good. That's true. That's true. You know? I, I tell people all the time, too, because like I said, I don't consider myself a super duper gym guy whatever but i do go pretty consistently and, and uh, i do things and people ask about it because like you said it, it's become part of my life yeah uh, i've seen you know i got family from alabama uh, mississippi i've seen how it's worked against people who don't get active right i've seen how it's worked uh, against uh, us who don't eat better you know i'm not saying i eat perfect all the time but i've seen what it does right i don't want that but then also too is that you got to look at what works best for you um and, and how it makes you feel it's a spot on the spectrum for everybody. Mm. It's mm. you know the spectrum is huge, man. Yeah, it's so huge. You can see somebody they never eat. They're as big as a the, the cords <laughs> on the floor. You know what I mean? Right, right. Somebody as big as the, the the buildings outside. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you ask, how did you get there? Yeah. When they got there, just doing the same thing over and over and over and over again, not eating or eating. Right. And also too, I'll say this: that one thing that you another point you made is that when I see somebody in the gym who is like let's say a, a big person or whatever, and they're really going at it. I kind of respect that more, and I, I, I get more encouragement from that yeah. than maybe somebody who's super cut because we're in a day and time now with social media, with everything. Everybody wants to, nobody wants to be brave enough to just go out there and, and try to get there because they're not going to get to the point where they're down unless they get up there when they might be overweight or right. when they might have all this stuff going on. But when I see somebody out there, I mean, they're like, whatever. I'm gonna, if I can only put, like you said, one plate on here, yeah. or half a plate on here. If it's I'm, the bar. If it's the bar, I'm going to do it. Like, that is something... When I see that, I get more motivated and, and energized because I'm like, okay, here I am sitting around worrying about these two mm-hmm. plates, right? When I'm thinking about some guy with four plates uh-huh. and I'm seeing this person and they're like, listen, man, I'm just trying to get started and I'm about to go hard. That's it. It'd be that simple, man. I don't, I mean, this is what I say about the gym. When you see people, you know, they're in the fitness wear, right? <laughs> right some right. people don't have the, the fly shoe oh, with yeah. the matching pants and the oh, shirt. Oh, yeah. And now people are judging them based on that. Oh, yeah. The whole oh, time, yeah. the person with... All that on, they probably, you know, Man, uh, change the trash at the Walmart. Well, the funny part about that is that, you know, I'm, I'm a little more seasoned now and a lot better, mm-hmm. right? But there was a time, a younger version of Odell, you know, where I it was that same person. I researched all these gyms and I researched all this equipment and I came in there and I had, you know, the compression. I had this, I had that, this, that. And I look back on that and my workouts were horrible. Like you said, it was yeah. all about flair. Yeah. Whereas now, I'm like, listen, I got like five gym shirts. <laughs> right? I got like five gym shirts, T-shirts that I know that I like that make me feel good. I don't have no gloves. You know, I don't got no fancy bells and whistles. I got two pair of certain kind of jogger pants I wear. I just wash them bad boys, and I put my bag together, and, you go. and I, I go to the gym, and I hit it. And I'm like, wow, man, I used, to, I used to worry about all this other stuff. I used to worry about the thing. But now it's like I got these same tire Nikes, but they work. They yeah. got a flat bottom, and I put that feel better on. in the gym now? Man, I feel better. I feel better. Well, I, I can't let you go without talking about the gym, talking about the loft. Oh, man. Home. I mean, because it's funny, too, because I look at their posts and everything. Like, 
y'all are creating a certain kind of energy and a certain uh, wave to fitness that is your own, as yeah. opposed to some of the big box gyms or just certain things. Y'all like y'all are really creating. So we are, we movement. are personal training only. You cannot train in our gym without a certain level of uh, supervision. Mm. So everything that you see is is brought to you by magnificent people. Yeah. Aiding yeah. other magnificent people, creating yeah. a community of health and wellness. Right. And this is a gym. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere you turn is going to be somebody at the level of let's get better. Right. Let's get better. Right. So I'm not trying to take from you. Okay, let's say, hey, you know, I got to, you, you do so good at cardio, but all my people are struggling with weight. I'm going to come to you and say, you mind if I use one of those circuits you got? Or can she or he come over here to you? Right. That's what I make sure happens. You know, the owners, magnificent guys. I mean, they got an online program, RI28. Yeah, RI28. You know, which is just Brian, ridiculous. You know? Yeah. Which also aided in us having one of the most explosive years at the loft for a, a business opening in one year. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I mean, we had clientele. We had concrete on the floor, jump ropes, and mats. <laughs> I was there then with no heat. And people were still, hey, you going gonna to be there? I'm like, I'm putting the gym together. I'm still sweeping the walls. <laughs> right, right, you know? right, right. I'm trying to make sure a tarantula don't come out of here. You know? <laughs> to now when people see it, it's 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 the greatest show on blue turf. It's kinda like like you said to me, like how the guy got the four plates. Right. He just you kept know, going. He just kept going. Started with that one plate, man. Listen, I usually ask people, you know, the last question how they build great relationships, but I also want to say to you, just uh maybe if you can give just a couple of tips or mantras uh, the people as far as just uh, building great relationships, but it's also taking care of relationships with themselves as far as their fitness and their body. Okay. Um, the, 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 the thing that's gone in today's society is just saying hello. Mm. Just saying hi. Yeah. People don't even say, say hi, and it's genuinely, hey, what's up, man? You doing all right? Yeah. Cool. And I don't want anything. I'm not selling anything. Right, right. Just hello. Just right. good energy to good Interaction. Energy, you know? Yeah. And as far as taking care of yourself, own it. I eat potato chips every day. That's my problem. I, you know, <laughs> I smoke and I drink yeah. every day and I hang out all night. Wow. But I go exercise every day, too. You cannot yeah. outwork a bad diet. Yeah, yeah. I've, Period. I've, I've definitely heard you that one. You eat 800 calories and then try to go to the gym and burn 400. You're behind. Yeah, I, I, yeah, 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 yeah. It don't take you but 20 minutes to eat a sandwich, maybe. Yeah. It's going to take you two hours, an hour and a half to get a thousand, maybe. You going to do it every day? Man. No, you're not. Man, that is so true. Own it, because that is so true. Uh, I'm, I'm working to do better, but I, I do, I uh, got to cut them chips out yeah. uh, and the french fries. We have them. We got our bad habits. Oh, my goodness, man. You know, my whiskey. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I've, I've learned to do it now with no uh, ice and no Coke, though. Okay. You know? No ice either? <laughs> no, nah, just, just do it neat. I tell people to put, uh, put ice little, in it. Put a little ice in it? Because okay. it helps you recover a little bit. Water. Oh, uh, okay, okay. People are like, why okay. are you drinking so much water? Every time I take a drink, I, 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 take, I drink more water. But that's, that's a great point. If I have a drink, I have water. But I don't, I don't mix it with no Coke, though. I, you know, not that I'm sitting yeah. here advocating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about healthy right now. Right. <laughs> I'm sitting here talking about whiskey. But I'm just, I'm just saying, I don't drink it with no Coke. Yeah. So you when I do drink whiskey, I just drink the whiskey. Okay. Right? I made sense of that, Steve, right? <laughs> Jay Black. Great, that's a great, a great excuse. I want, listen, I want my whiskey straight. Hey, Black, I, I, all I, I, that, I all that ice. Okay. I like, clean it up, Jay Black, right? I, I clean it up, right? If I'm great a drink. excuse. That's a great excuse. <laughs> well, listen, man, I am so glad I have G Cool here, cool here today, man. Uh, just the energy he brought, he brings. Uh, definitely check him out, support him. Check out the loft. Yes, come uh, check us out. Uh, just amazing things. Look at the, what, what, the social media and all that kind of stuff. At the Loft Atlanta is the name of the gym, and my social media handle is gcool 5.0. Follow this, brother. I mean, definitely someone to check out. I mean, just a lot of energy, a lot of great tips, a lot of good motivation, and that's what uh, we want to do with uh, the roundtable. I love talking about great relationships. I love uh, talking about how you can network, but he made a great point. You know, for one, uh, the gym is a great place to network and just meet people of all walks of life. But also, too, is that you have to own it as far as yourself, and you have to stay focused on your journey. You have to stay focused on the goals that you want. Uh, I see a lot of people, friends of mine, who get intimidated when they go in the gym, and you can't worry about that. You can't, can't. Uh, one thing I do like, I, I like the fact that every time you go to a gym, right, it doesn't no matter how big you are, no matter how swole you think you're looking, it doesn't matter. You can feel like you're the best-looking person in that gym. At some point, some dude's going to walk in there 
He'd be like, all right, I got to get back to work. <laughs> exactly. So I like the fact that that happens because it, it always reminds me to stay motivated. But don't let that discourage you because, like you said, some people are not mentally ready yet or prepared to see. Because there's some days when you go to the gym and you might be the, 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 the fifth wheel. You, everybody in there might be cut the heck up. Yeah. But once again, that's not about what's going on with you. Right. That's not why you came there. You didn't come there so you could just stand up. You came out there to put some work in, so go to the gym, put some work in. And we're not sitting here saying you have to go to the gym as, as well. You just get active. Yeah, you got online programs. Online programs. RI28. RI28. Run. Just do something. Get off the couch, even though we're on the couch talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> get off the couch, get active, man, and just do that. So I appreciate you giving your time and your energy and just telling the stories and telling the examples because that's the little thing I love, too, is that there's no excuse or story you haven't yeah, heard. Haven't heard one. Oh, my gosh, man. I got to go hard next week, man. You hear that, Jay Black? I got to go hard tomorrow. Why I got to be oh. next week? Go hard tomorrow. You heard that, Jay Black? I'm, I'm, I'm going to do some push-ups after the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, you've been tuning in to Odell's Roundtable. Make sure you follow me at Art by Odell. Support live hip-hop daily. Also, shout-out to my man, Jay Black, Innovative Black Station. Check out the shirts. You know, I got mine. Tell the people once again where they can get the, the shirts, Jay Black. Uh, InnovativeBlackStation.com. That's what I'm talking about. Jay Black is like the youngest old dude I know, man. His brother, so, he's so smooth, man. He's like a, a young 76-year-old, man. He's as cool as hell, man. Ohio player at his fullest right there. Shout out to my producer, man. He makes me look good every week. So, once again, thank you for tuning in to Odell's Roundtable. We'll be back next week. Stay cool, man. <laughs>